This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Well, let's get back out to the gas lamp with meteorologist Leah Pizzetti. How's the skating coming? Have you gotten any better in the last five minutes? Okay, Jared, let me just say, I, I have inlines, so skates, I don't know what it is. They're somehow harder. You would think it'd be easier, but uh, yeah, you don't want to see that. <laughs> let me show our forecast really quick. Uh, hey, they, did you see the big clouds that we saw through the sky today? That's thanks to that monsoon activity that has been around San Diego County. I'm working its way into the mountains, and those chances are going to continue for our mountains and our deserts into tomorrow. Then we're going to drop but the monsoon does make a comeback at the end of the week. So for our coastal communities, not too much fluctuation for our temperatures. We're going to be hanging out in the mid 70s for the next seven days for tomorrow. A mix of clouds and sunshine, but it'll be really nice through the day. Uh, really typical time of year. Same thing for our inland communities. Temperatures right on track with seasonal norm for tomorrow. So we're going to see highs in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, you can see a mix of clouds and sunshine. Same thing for tomorrow as well. These subtropical clouds, they're gorgeous. They're pretty sunset as well and it's at the end of the week that we start to bring back some of those storm chances so for our mountains we have some lingering thunderstorm chances for tomorrow uh, but then we can see thursday and then into next weekend they make a comeback at uh, temperatures staying in the lower 80s for our mountain communities through that time frame and desert communities triple digits all week long those thunderstorm chances lingering into tomorrow we dry out for just a couple days but then thursday they make a comeback okay so here we go I've been practicing really hard. This is my friend Shannon. Shannon is my savior. Okay, let's go toward them. Knees bent. Okay, so knees bent. You know what? I've been doing, let's go toward, here, can we turn? Ready? Okay, okay. So I've been practicing uh, my figure eight. Let's show them. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so toes out. Oh, we're swimming upstream right now. We're not supposed to be doing this. Okay, so Shannon was telling me, and then you stop, you bend your knees, and you use this dude. Woo! Okay. So what I love about what we're doing, we're out here in the gas lamp, Island in Fifth is completely shut down for these roller skaters, and it's gonna be this way every single Sunday through August and September from five to eight o'clock. Okay, you guys, yeah, let, let's see what you got. Let's, let's Show me your skills, show me how it's done. The, I don't know what is going on right here. Uh, let, let's go over here But this roller skate. Look at, this guy has two, I don't even know what is going on right here, but that looks really hard. Okay, so one of them out here, it's totally free. We're rollers great bring your wheels every single sunday for august and september we've got fun themes uh 2000 next week it's 70s and it's 80s i'm gonna try to just show you one more time as i sat as i take out here we go jared live from the gas lamp there goes leah skating off into the sunset thank you leah great job out there all right, the sunrise this morning should be a nice one if we could see some more of the holes in the clouds. Plenty of clouds this morning as we look towards Fallbrook. Those monsoon clouds are with us. We also have some marine layer clouds along our coast, and it is warm this morning. We're right around 70 degrees from the coast all the way out to the mountains. The desert area is in the mid 80s, so really haven't seen a whole lot of relief in the overnight hours. I know it's been very difficult to sleep. So we have monsoon moisture surging in. We've been dealing with that for a, over a week now. We also are tracking Tropical Storm Frank, which is also going to be going to the north. We're going to notice some of the clouds from that as well. So we're getting double dose of tropical moisture coming in. So as I put 10 News Futurecast into play, I'm going to show you two of our different weather models. This one by 2.30 this afternoon shows a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms near our mountain areas. I think this is a little underestimate, whereas this high-resolution Futurecast model, as I move into the afternoon, you can see it shows scattered to almost widespread activity. I think we're going to kind of see a combination of the both. So isolated thunderstorms possible in our mountain areas, heavy rain, lightning, potentially some small hail. Monsoon influence returns Friday through Sunday. That does mean we're going to get a little bit of a break tomorrow through Thursday. If you are going to the beaches to beat the heat and the humidity, well, it's still muggy along our coast, but you can beat the heat there. We are going to see elevated surf waves of four to seven feet and strong rip currents through Wednesday. A beach hazard statement in effect until 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Highs along our coast, mid 70s to low 80s through the extended. I am forecasting 80 in Encinitas and in Ocean side today. Inland neighborhoods, the hotter inland spots like Santee, Ramona and Alpine mid 90s today. Most of us will be in the low 80s with some of the cooler spots in the 80s and temperatures drop a few degrees for the second half of the week. Low to mid 80s will stick around in the mountain areas. We'll see another slight chance for some activity by Thursday, but Friday, Saturday and Sunday looking more likely to see those storms. That goes for the desert areas as well.